Hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. It's ACDC's. <laughs> hey, how you doing? It's Mr. Clifford. This is ACDC Econ. We're talking about foreign exchange, appreciation, and depreciation of relative currencies. Okay, in the last video, we learned about the shifters of foreign exchange tastes and preferences, price level, income, and interest rates. Your job now is to use them. Now I have for you six different examples of things that affect the demand and supply for two different currencies. The currencies are the United States dollar and the Japanese yen. Your job is to figure out will the United States dollar appreciate or depreciate, or the yen appreciate or depreciate. Let's do the first one together so I can show you exactly what I'm looking for, okay? If United States tourists love Japan, what do they need? They need more yen. And so the demand would increase for yen. If demand increased for yen, that would cause the yen to appreciate, right? Appreciate. To get those yen, Americans need to go to the foreign exchange and they need to supply their dollars, right? And so if supply goes up, shifting right for the United States dollar, that would cause the dollar to depreciate, all right? So the United States dollar depreciates, the yen appreciates. Your job is to do the same thing for the rest of these, all right? Good luck. Now, the first thing I want to say is I had very little room to explain where I was going with this. You might have the right answer that's different than mine because you didn't quite understand the way I was trying to go, right? On the AP test, it'll make clear which direction they want you to go with the way the question's worded. If the U.S. government cuts income taxes, right, that would increase United States income. If United States is richer, they'll buy more things from other countries, including Japan. So that would cause the demand for yen to increase. If we're richer, we'll buy more of their stuff. So the yen will appreciate right, will supply more of our dollars, and so the dollar will depreciate. If Japan has higher inflation, right, and they can buy things in their own country, or they can buy things from the United States, they'd rather buy things from the United States where inflation is lower, right? And so they're gonna demand more, Japanese are gonna demand more United States dollars. So the dollar will appreciate, right, but they have to supply more of their Japanese yen to get it. So the supply of yen increases, that causes this one to depreciate. Interest rates are the trickiest one. This is the one that was on the previous video. Right? If interest rates are higher in Japan, that means Americans want to take their money, convert it into yen, and go get that higher interest rate right? through their yields, right? through bonds or stocks or something else. They want to get the high interest rate. Right? So the demand for yen would increase, which would cause the yen to appreciate, and we have to supply more dollars to go get those yen, and it would cause this one to depreciate. Now, up to this point, I want you to notice Whenever demand goes up for one currency, the other country has to increase supply of their currency. And so side-by-side -side graphs of showing you the two currencies, demand and supply, always go up or down together. Now, pay attention to this one. If Japan places high tariffs on U.S. imports, Japanese people are going to want more or less dollars. Less, right? The demand is going to now fall. This is new for us. Demand's gonna fall for US dollars. Japanese people don't want US dollars because they don't wanna pay these high tariffs, and so that's gonna cause the dollar to depreciate. Now the Japanese used to buy a certain number of dollars, but now they're not buying anymore, and they're supplying less, so the supply falls for Japanese yen in the foreign exchange. That would cause theirs to appreciate, right? Supply shifting left would cause a higher exchange rate. Last one, U.S. has a huge recession. The United States has a recession. I'm trying to connect that to income. Our incomes are down. If our incomes are down, we're not buying things from other countries. And so the demand for yen would fall. Right? We're poor. We don't have money. We can't buy things from Japan. Demand would fall. That would cause theirs to depreciate. Right? And if we're not demanding theirs, we're supplying less of the United States dollars to the foreign exchange, which would cause this one to appreciate. All right. That's the concept. Hopefully it makes sense. Until next time.